Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and you're a first timer. I am Charlotte, like I said, and I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to do a basic, simple, but effective keyword brainstorming exercise. Okay, and with this keyword brainstorming exercise, this is something I do all the time with my private one on one consulting clients or students in my programs like top Squarespace SEO or the level up program that I do so. This is the actual thing that I work with my paid clients and I want to do it for you here for free as well, because I don't think that this should be information that is like behind a paywall. Like, I think this is something that everyone should know how to do. So that's why I'm walking you through this now. And like I said, this is a simple, but easy and effective brainstorming exercise, because frankly, the time will come when you might want to go into more of advanced um, keyword brainstorming. You want to start dabbling into paid SEO tools, all that sort of thing. But odds are, if you're here right now watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're fairly new to Squarespace SEO, you're a bit more of on the like beginner intermediate phase. And that's amazing. We love that. Love that you're here and you found your way. But that's why I'm not going to jump into some more of the advanced keyword brainstorming. We're going to keep it simple but effective and see how it goes. So I'm going to show you how to do this using all free tools and the exercise that you can follow along with in real time. So I suggest that you grab a pen and paper or even you can grab like the notes app on your phone or open it up on the computer here, a Google Doc, whatever it happens to be. But I would love for you to follow along with me as we're going through this video together. So we're going to get started in just a second. But before we do, I want to show you that I have on my website, charlotteohara.ca, I have a Squarespace SEO checklist. And this is totally free. It's been downloaded by thousands of people. So trust me when I tell you you're in very good company with the Squarespace SEO checklist. Um, and it basically is a checklist that makes sure that you have done everything that you need to on the SEO front with your Squarespace website. So whether you're a total beginner, you're a bit more intermediate, you just want to make sure that you haven't forgotten anything or you did it all correctly, this is for you. And again, it's totally free, one page. It's step-by-step, step, easy to follow. I can't recommend it enough. And um, I know you're going to love it because everyone else does and you're welcome in advance. So let's start off now going back to that keyword brainstorming exercise. So by now you have that pen and paper here handy and let's, let's follow along with this in real time. Okay. Let's get comfortable. Let's get into it. So let's think about, first of all, what are we doing here? What is a keyword brainstorming exercise? That's important. We have to understand what we're doing, let alone figure out why we're doing it and how to do it properly. But basically, keywords are the link between what someone is searching for online and content that exists on your website. So Google, the search engine, when they go to your website, they're crawling and indexing your website, looking for keywords or key phrases so that when someone goes and does a search in Google, they can refer back and say, oh, yeah, hey, look, like we've got it there. It's on that website and they're going to show you up in the search results. Right. So in some cases, let's give a couple examples of keywords. It could be something like, um, you know, ear, nose, throat doctor in Phoenix, Arizona right? Like that would be like a keywords or key phrase, or maybe it would be something like um, a mushroom ceramic mug, right? Or it could be something like, mm, yeah, like any, anything like that, or it could be top 10 um, tips for going backpacking, right? Or how to create a budget or something like that. These are all ideas of keywords. So what we're doing with keywords, again, we have to think of it as a two-sided approach. A, the first thing we need to do, and we're going to do in this exercise in just a second, is we are going to grab our pen and paper or the notes on our phone, whatever, and I want you to make a list of all the things that you want someone to type into Google that lands on your website. Let me repeat that. Write a list of at least 10, 12 things to start of all the things you want someone to type into Google that lands on your website. So what are we going to write? 
first off, it might be things like your name. So for me, obviously, I want people to type in like Charlotte O'Hara, right? Because yeah, that's my name. You might put your name or your brand name or whatever. And then it could also be like the topic or the area of expertise you have. So for me, like Squarespace SEO, right? That's another thing that I want people to be typing into Google to land on my website. And, you know, for you, it could be something like wedding calligrapher, right? Or it could be, um, you know, rare seed specialist or something like in the Pacific Northwest. I don't, I don't know, right? Like, you know yourself, you know, whatever that you have. So write down all those things, but also keep going and write down maybe a list of like the top types of services that you offer or the main types of products you sell. So maybe it's like vegan skincare, right? Or it could be something like, you know, um, organic beeswax free beeswax candle or something, right? Or it could be maybe like copywriter for a SaaS company, like, you know, all of these different things. So you're writing down not only your name, your brand name, your business name, but you're also writing some of the main, your industry, your area of expertise, you're writing down some of the main services or products, or if you host events, it might be the type of event that you host or the event name, things like that, right? So this should give you a list of at least, I would say 10 to 12 to start, right? 10 to 12 words, keywords, key phrases, things like that. And again, it can be more than one word. It doesn't have to just be like, boots right it could be like black vegan over the knee boots or something right like that is a keyword or key phrase so this is what i want you to do to start and again what you're doing is you are putting yourself in your ideal target audience's mind so you're thinking who are my target customers my dream clients like the people i want to be reaching for online and you're saying what are those people typing into google that i want them to land on my website okay so that's what you're going to do in the first step. Okay. Next up, we're going to have a list, you know, again, 10 to 12, that's a great start, but we want to do a bit more because maybe we're thinking like, oh, you know, like that will cover the main pages, products, services that you offer. But maybe now you're trying to think like, okay, well, what do I know is going to be maybe some like blog posts that I want to write about, you know, like what do I want to know people are typing online and searching for to see. So I'm going to show you now, I'm actually going to show you two ways that you can do that and do some very simple, but again, effective keyword research using free tools. So I'm going to share my screen here because again, no secrets, no secrets here. All right. And let me just like move that stuff around. Okay, so let's get, let me give you a couple of examples here. So imagine you are, let's say, I don't know, Cape Cod wedding photographer, okay? You're gonna go to Google, just do a very, very basic Google search. But what I want you to do is scroll down to the bottom. And do you see here, there's something called related searches. So in this related searches, we might look through it and be like, oh, hey, like maybe this is some examples. Like for, for here, Cape Cod wedding venue, you know, as a photographer, maybe this means that you could add a page on your website or create a blog post or something that's like our preferred venues or our partner venues or examples of weddings at this particular venue, right? So let's say you usually shoot your weddings as a Cape Cod photographer or whatever at like five different venues. Maybe why don't you like feature those on a page on your website or have separate blog posts and be like examples of weddings at venue A or examples of weddings at venue B or something, right? And that would be a really cool one too. So, um, and then another one as well, engagement photographer. Well, if you're like, yo, of course I'm a wedding photographer, but like, do you have a page on your website that talks about doing engagement photos? Maybe that means instead of dumping it just as a little section under your wedding section, maybe instead you create a brand new page all about engagement photos, right? So this is a really good example that sometimes this related searches section can offer some great insights. And then another tool that I want to point out, again, that's free, easy to use, and will give you some great insights is to come to Pinterest. 
And so I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of people think Pinterest is just like cute images. Yay, love that. But actually, in fact, this is crazy. Pinterest is one of the biggest search engines. It is one of the search engines out there that gets some of the highest volume of searches. And it's so powerful. So don't sleep on Pinterest, okay? That's what, that's what I'm going to tell you. But again, I want you to come and even just use the exact same keywords here that you typed into Google and now put them in Pinterest. And now I want you to take a look at some of the things that are coming up here. So, hmm, what do I see that are coming up? Um, a tented wedding. You're like, oh, have I done one of that? Maybe that can be a blog post. Um, you know, so like a tented wedding on Cape Cod, right? Or here, an oceanfront summer wedding on Cape Cod. Maybe that's a great example of a blog post that you create or something, right? Scrolling down a little bit further, let me just see what jumps out to me. Um, yeah, like there's so many great examples or, oh, here, this could be a good one as well. This like blue one, maybe you're kind of like, you know, examples of something blue at Cape Cod or whatever, you know, because weddings have that something blue. So do you see what I mean? You can come through and just be like, all right, well, what's showing up in Pinterest and how can I then come through and use, create similar content on my website that targets those keywords? Because you already know people are searching for it and clicking through it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be showing up at the top of these search lists, right? So if you then come here and create your own spin on that content, then it means that you're already going to be creating content around the, your target keywords, but you're doing it in a way that is going to actually drive even more traffic to your website, okay? So that is, let me just get back to normal here, okay. Again. So that is what I recommend you do for your very basic, but again, it's simple but effective keyword brainstorming exercise. So let's recap them. Step one is you're going to grab that pen and paper. You're going to write down a list and, you know, don't limit yourself to 10 to 12. Like if you want to write more, like go ham. But again, in this, you're thinking, what are my ideal clients and customers typing into Google that you want them to land on your website? Okay, so again, in this step, you are just putting yourself in their shoes, being like, what do they want to know? What are my main services, offerings, product areas, whatever. Number two, again, you're going to do the Google search and then go to the bottom and see the suggested searches or like the related searches. And then number three is you're going to go to Pinterest, which is another search engine. And you are going to take a look at the results that come up in a Pinterest search. And again, that will give you ideas of different type of um, keywords and what they're ranking and different topics that you can create on your website, whether it's a page, a blog post, anything like that. So before you leave, don't forget to grab a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist, the one that I told you about a few minutes ago, because I know you're going to love it and find it incredibly useful. And if you're interested in Squarespace SEO, growing your website, online marketing, anything like that, then take a look at the other videos here on my YouTube channel or the blog posts over on my website, charlotteohara.ca. I have so many more resources, trainings, guides, um, any type of content that you want to see. It's there on my website if you're not finding it here on the YouTube channel as well. And if you did like this video, if you found it helpful, if you liked seeing this kind of content where I share little, you know, little tips and stuff that I normally reserve for my paying clients, like my, you know, private clients and students and stuff in my programs, then let me know because maybe I can share some more of them if there's enough interest. I don't, I don't know. Like, do you, do you want to see that kind of thing? Do you like these demos? Please let me know in the comments below because it actually helps me to figure out what kind of content to create for you, right? Everyone wins here. All right, my friend, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you again soon in the next one.